everyone. Welcome back to Two Good Sports. Uh, Greggy, good to see you, mate. We're on the eve of footy. Can you believe it? Uh, I can. I can believe it because I've been waiting. Well, we've been waiting for, what, almost three months now. So uh, looking yep. forward to it, Hamo. Yep, can't wait. All right. Well, look, what we want to do is just have a quick chat about some of the, uh, the, the leading topics going into the restart of uh, the comp round three. What's the uh, what's one that's really um, caught your eye, Greg? Mate, the one referee. Uh, we've now had two referees since I've well, it's been a long, long time now. I think it's what uh, something like 17, 18 years, something like that. We've had two referees. Um, yes. Going back to one referee, it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, Hook has come into play hugely with one referee. Um, they'll be scooting off from dummy half, and they're talking about they're not going to be a penalty for infringements. It'll be a, a quick tap. Um, yeah, the, the blokes that control the rucks are going to be the real interesting ones. With Cameron Smith, obviously, you know he's leading leading like like that. But um, even a Cameron McInnes, um, then you you hook us for your, your two state Damien Cook, obviously with his speed from dummy half, and um, you know it, it, it's going to be real. Reed Reed Marnie, it'd be interesting to see what happens with this new Rule One referee and um, mm. how different sides react to it. What about you? What do you think about that? Oh, look, I, I think there's people on both sides. Um, uh, you know. Some of the older schools saying, you know, bring back the one ref and, and uh, if this doesn't work, you know, what's going to be. But, uh, look, interestingly, a new member of uh, Two Good Sports, the great um, Eric Groth, uh, uh, joins us uh, this week with his, uh, with, with his article, uh, writing his article about that, interestingly. So he's got a few views on it. So check on our um, website, uh, Two Good Sports. It's just come up this week, twogoodsports.net. And uh, the guru will go into that. A, in, um, it's huge. Up. One referee is huge. Huge change yeah, to the game. Yeah. Well, look, for me, Greggy, um, uh, I guess the Nick Politis thing now, the, the, the Premiers, uh, he's uh, Nick Politis, the Supremo of the Roosters, has come out. He's claimed the, uh, the draw is unfair. Again, it's something I think we talk about in our, um, our new website this week. Uh, <laughs> look, a few people are probably thinking that he's a bit of a whinge. It's, it's interesting when you look at the draw that they've got compared to some rivals. I'm sure that no one sat there with a uh, an agenda and and, and um, made their job even harder. Yeah. Every game's going to be hard with, when you only got 18 games to go. But interesting yeah. point. What about you? Yeah, well, they, they make rivalry rounds now. So you play you, you you know like the Dragons play Cronulla twice, no matter what, and I think they play the Roosters twice because of the Anzac Day. And um, you know, obviously, the, I think the Bronx and the Cowboys meet twice, and you got. The Roosters and the uh, Rabbits, probably, I think they'd probably meet twice. So, I mean, if those teams are up near the top of the table, then you're always going to have a, a draw that might be, look like it's a little bit harder than some other clubs if, you, if you've got that sort of draw. But that's part of it. Mm. It's part of being rivals. Yeah. Um, and it's part of this new wave of this year, you know, where there's 20 rounds. So yeah. be it. You've got to suck it up a bit. I, Politis has no reason to suck whatsoever. Yep, yeah, no, I agree. Look, uh, another comment, another uh, um, thing on the agenda that you wanted to bring up too was Last year's grand final is the Raiders, their, their, uh, their, their, TV, their TV games. 100% behind Sticky on this one. I, you know, if you're a neutral, I quite like watching the Raiders play. They're tough in the forwards. Their backs are good. They were the grand finals last year, and Channel 9 have absolutely robbed them in telecast this year compared with other sides who are not near, you know, the level of what Canberra were last year or even started this year. Canberra mm. have been robbed, 100% in my opinion. They've been robbed. With the, with the draw because it's free to wear, it's money that the sponsors and they get no sponsorship dollars. Well, they do get sponsorship dollars. Their sponsors get nothing out of Channel 9. It's a joke. Yep. All right. Mate, let's have a look at the, uh, the out three anyway of the must-watch games the yeah. this round. What, what's the, yep. what's, what you start us off? Well, I, I, well, we start straight away Thursday. We've got the Broncos versus the Eels. That's a much must watch. I mean, last time these two met, if you remember, Ham, I don't know if you do, but if you do remember, it was fifty-eight nil to uh, Parramatta. This is big. This is huge. Both teams have started the season quite well. Both teams look like certainties for semi-final, in my opinion. Um, this is a big game for both clubs. Uh, I can't wait for it. The Broncos will be seeking a bit of revenge, but it's a new year, so is revenge hold over for 12 months? Yes, it does. They'll be seeking revenge. Big game, big yep. forward packs, both of them. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yourself, in this game? Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I think we'd be watching a, you know, an over-70s um, you know, um, game. <laughs> Everyone in Australia would if it was on, because there's nothing being, there'd be no sport. Yeah. But look, it should be a good one. It's a bit of redemption for the Bronx, uh, potentially. Parramatta are, are, are a good-looking outfit from, you know, their, their entire 
their entire squad. Uh, young Reed Marnie's back. I think um, what do you on think our about website too, we, we brought that game up. What's that, sorry? What about the hooker with uh, Broncos, with uh, McCulloch going to... Uh, yeah, McCulloch, yeah. Well, long-serving, you know, stalwart of the game. I, mm. I think that the writing was on the wall. Jake Turpin plays big minutes. They've got a couple of young kids and Corey Pakes and a few other ones that they're, they're invested in. And so I guess two young hookers money. There is talk of Ben Teo as well. Yeah, two young hookers going against each other with the new rules. It'll be interesting. Yeah, mate, Really probably. interesting. What, what's the, the one game? for me... Um, the one for me, uh, well, there's a couple, obviously, but uh, the Warriors and uh, and your guys, the coaches under pressure. I think McGregor under probably a bit different pressure than Kearney. Kearney's going to have, a, you know, and the rest of the, the Warriors, you know, we, they're all our second favourite team now. But McGregor for a while there, I guess, has had, um, you know, there's been big expectations with the roster he's got. For me, this is going to be an interesting one because someone walks away zero and um, three. Yeah, um, I don't think there's as much pressure on Carney, obviously, as McGregor. McGregor can't walk away zero and well, zero and three. If they lose just one in the following week, if they lose, it could be zero and four. They're now they've lost to Penrith and to the Tigers. Uh, you wouldn't call either of them premiership threats if they lose to the Warriors. You're zero and three with 17 rounds to go. You're close to. I reckon you're close to no chance of making the semis if you're the Dragons. It's a must win very early in the comp. It is a game to watch. 100% agree with you, Ammo. All right. And the other game we, we pigeonholed, uh, Greggy, was uh, the Roosters and the Rabbitohs for yeah. a couple of reasons. Great game. How good is this game going to be? I mean, mm. Angus Crichton went across one way a couple of years ago. We've got Latrell that's gone the other way, and he's going to fullback from centre at Roosters to fullback at South. Uh, the Roost, uh, Rabbitohs have obviously been in a bit of turmoil in the off-season. You know, Co- uh, Cody Walker had a little bit of uh, issue there and, and, and Roberts, James Roberts, but he looks like he's right yep. to play and then yep. Luttrell's had his own issues. So it, this this is huge, this game. It's a huge. 1908, yeah. these two teams started the comp. They were part of the start of the comp. This is gigantic. What are your thoughts there, Hamo? I agree. Look, it, 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 there's never a never a, a dud game between these two clubs. I... Um, it's interesting, like we talked about, you know, the Warriors and the Dragons going into that uh, pressure game. Someone's going to walk away with three losses out of uh, 20 games. Uh, well, the Roosters could potentially, the Premiers could potentially be walking away with uh, from this one, um, you know, zero and three, which doesn't happen very often. Should we have, have a quick look at the... Uh, the yeah, the I think the interesting mate. thing here. Yeah, yeah let's, do, let's do it. What do we got? We've got first up, we've got Broncos and Eels. What's your thoughts there, mate? Look, I... It, I, I see the Broncos are favourites, dollar eighty five favourites. The home crowd really doesn't play a big part because there's you know, <laughs> apart from the the, the, um, the trainers and, and and whatnot, there's no one there. I I think that you know that Fafita and uh, Pangai Jr. are out for the Broncos. Uh, Nathan Brown's out for the Parramatta. Apart from that, Mahoney's ninety percent, I believe, at the moment. Yeah. I would I would suggest that the Eels will um will, will be a little bit strong. I, I don't think it's going to be much in it. Certainly not fifty eight points. But I'm, I'm taking the Eels, this one, in a, in a pretty tight game, I'd imagine, um, after both sides uh, dusting off the cobwebs. What, do you, what about you, Greg? Broncos by 10. Right they're, they're ready. They're ready this year. And, you know, I'm not Broncos, big Bronco. I don't really care for them or against them, but I, they're ready. They'll win this one. Look, this is a... Obviously, it's an important game for every club, but it's an important game in the fact that the Broncos, as I said, are seeking redemption. If they go out in this game and, and they're manhandled by the Eels and they do lose, you know, by a substantial margin, it puts them back. Uh, puts them back. Steps. Yeah, so, it puts them back. Yeah, yeah that does. If they get manhandled in this game, every club will be chasing them. That's what about right. the Cowboys Titans, Hamo? Look, the Titans have had a you know, a, you know, a, ter- a terrible start. I must say, you know, like after last year, the the, the, the last game against Canberra was forty. Uh, sorry, against Parramatta, forty something. The six, I think it was forty-six or forty-eight to six. They've uh, they've had their they've had their in, internal problems, I guess, with uh, the, the anti-vaxxers and all that sort of stuff. It's behind them now. Uh, AJ Brimson's a big loss for the Titans. He's one of their really attacking uh, weapons. The Cowboys are without their captain, Michael Morgan, but I think that they've got enough depth with Jake Clifford. Clifford. So, yeah, I, look, I think that they're going to be too strong. I, I think the Titans will be it'll be an improved performance, but I, I think the Cowboys by probably uh, eight to. Yep. Points. Tick for me. I agree. Yep. What about the next one, mate? We talked about it in depth, obviously, before. Uh, Roosters, Rabbitohs, who do you think is going to win this one? Interesting, isn't it? Because, uh, you know, like uh, 
the, 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 the Rabbitohs haven't been that impressive. They're one from two. Uh, the Roosters are dollar forty favourites at the moment. Uh, Rabbitohs almost three dollars, almost flying out three dollars. I look, I, I as you know, I've already tipped the Roosters for the uh, to win the premiership this year. I think that you know they're brilliantly coached, they're well managed, and they've got a fantastic roster um, that can that seems to be you know really anyone can sort of miss out and they get the job done. They've they've increased their depth with Brett Morris joining his brother. I, I'm I'm taking the Roosters, Greg, but I don't think it's going to be much in it. What about you? Oh, mate, I'm the same, same as you. I have, um, as much as I really want the Rabbitohs to win, uh, Roosters will win this one by about four, I reckon. I think it'll be a good game. I think it'll be close. Mm. I reckon four yep. points. Uh, no, I agree. I on. think it could be, a, could be probably the best game in the round. I think this next yeah. one's going to be a bit of a beauty too. The Warriors and the, and the Dragons. Now, we've already mentioned it. We don't have to go into uh, they're both where, the, where they are. Last year, the Warriors got both. Yeah. Wins. Yeah. What do you What do you think here? Well, we'd won 19 out of the 21 before that, and then they beat us both times last year. I'm, I, look, McGregor and the boys have got to be ready. McGuinness is back. He's huge. Cameron McGuinness mm. playing hooker. He's ready to yep. go. The Warriors have got a few injuries. They're talking about bringing Gallon into the squad and Thayday. I'm all over the Dragons. I think this one, they, I'm all over them. I think they'll win. I, if they don't win this one, they're shot. I know it's a real early call, but they're zero and three, and they played Penrith, Tigers, and Warriors. Mm. They've yeah. got to win this one. Dragons by six. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Look, it, I, I think they're going to win anyway, but if they don't win this, it's, um, you know, it's uh, absolutely panic stations at, at, um, at Cogra for the, the Dragons. The next game, uh, the Sharks and the, and the Tigers. It's, it's a pretty tough one to pick here. Um, they, they obviously, like most sides, they're pretty much at full strength. What do you think? Yeah, I reckon it would be quite a little good game, this one. And, you know, like, you know, we're talking about a few other games. Yeah, this one will be a nice, interesting game. I think the Sharks will get home, unfortunately. Um, I think the Sharks will win by about eight. But I reckon it'll be one of those games up to 60 minutes. You won't have a clue. It might be 12 all. And the Sharks to win 2012. There you go. Yep, all right. Yourself. And when you say at home, too, Bankwest Stadium, I guess, is at yeah. home. And there's a, yeah. there's a few new homes. So I guess we could just quickly go back. You know, the Broncos obviously uh, have the home game at, at their at their home ground at Lang Park, Suncorp yeah. Stadium. The Cowboys have their own home, but the Roosters are obviously um, hosting the Raptors at Bank West. The Warriors are hosting the Dragons at um, at, at the uh, Central Coast Stadium, Gosford. and uh, mm. yeah, Gosford. And the next game um, brings us to the uh, this is a cracker. This one, Storm and the Raiders. Now uh, the Storm are um, obviously at at Amy Park in Melbourne. Not, again, it doesn't make a hell of a lot of difference, but something about that ground, I think, does. Dollar sixty favourites against two dollar twenty five uh, Raiders. Look, I'm just going to go on the back of this the, the control that the Storm have. The Raiders aren't far behind these days how they control a the game. I think this one could be a point. Yeah, I'm disappointed in some of the things in the last couple of weeks that's happened to the Raiders. Yeah, I mean, not their fault, but, you know, like Rapana coming back is great for them. But, mm. you know, obviously Sticky's not, you know, not overly happy with Channel 9, which rightfully so. You know, Bateman's not necessarily him. These managers and the talk in the paper, I think a few little upset little of the cart there for the Raiders. I think Storm should win this one. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. relatively confident about four points by Storm win by four. Okay. And uh, you mentioned John Bateman, you know, uh, apparently looking for, um, you know, a bit more than apparently what he's been offered at the moment. I think he's mm. looking, you know, between about 580 and 600. He's looking around the 800,000 mark, if you can believe what they say. Another Bateman um, uh, has decided to step away from football away, uh, fo- away from football, and that's uh, uh, Luke Bateman, who is uh, yeah. you know, a very good back row on his own right too. So let's hope we see him back in football, football at some stage. Great. The Sunday takes us to uh, Campbelltown, the, the Panthers and the Knights, and another really tough one, regardless of if it was um, the situation we're in with the COVID-19 or not, this is a tough one to pick. The, the Panthers and the Knights, I think both would uh, agree that they were disappointing, at, especially in the back end last year. Yeah. What do you think here? Mate, they've both got a few out too, if you have a look. The Panthers have got their halves out, um, yeah. and the Knights obviously have lost... Uh, Bailey for the whole year, um, and they've also lost Braley, sorry, for the whole year, and they've also lost uh, Pongas out, isn't he, for the first yeah. two games. So yeah. they're both missing a few key players. Oh, sneaky new, sneaky Newcastle by one. Yeah, look, I'm going to take the Panthers probably about the same margin. I'm probably thinking, you know, maybe a converted try 
uh, I, I think that you know, obviously they've got the more stability in the in the um, in the halves of the Knights with uh, but obviously the Panthers being affected with Cleary suspension. I think the Panthers forwards might just get them over the line with Kikau and a, a few of the other big boys they've got. But yeah, that, this should be an interesting game as well. I don't think it's going to be a really high scoring game, but I'm just I'm you know. Hail Mary, just uh, the Panthers by about four to six, I think. Which brings us to the final game of the round, Greg, and uh, two uh, great rivals in, I guess, the, uh, the <laughs> 80s and the 90s. The Bulldogs, uh, the, Se- uh, the Seagulls, the Manly um, at Central Coast Stadium, hosting the Bulldogs. They're $1. thirty-three against the Bulldogs, three twenty-five. What do you What do you think? Yeah, mate, if, if we've got a few Manly fans out there. I know that, you know, Matty Dahl, uh, Mark Doherty, Angus Barr, or shouldn't maybe know. And my old mate Ross Squalis, he loves his Manly, and I'm all for him this weekend. I think Manly is certain is this game. All over Manly. Yeah. Yourself? Yeah. Um, same thing too. Uh, yeah. Good luck, Ross. Go with this one. I, I think that um, I think they're going to um, be too strong. Uh, you've tipped them to be thereabouts in the, the grand final this year. I I probably haven't gone and tipped them that far, but I think they're going to be certainly thereabouts, and uh, I think they'll be too strong. The Dogs, who uh, will... Um, pull a few teams' pants down this year. They've finished really well, the Bulldogs. Yeah. yeah, Manly be too strong. I think by about probably you know, 12 to 16 points, I'd imagine. You got a lock in for the round there, Steve? I've hit you on the spot there, the hammo. You know, yeah, look, I think it was a, if I had to put my uh, you know, house on something, I, I would, I, I'd go ahead and I'd say the, Cow, the Cowboys against the, the Titans. I know that's probably the most predictable one. I think that they're. At, at home, they, they've had two games there. They've, again, no home crowds, but they've had two games there. The first one, they would have been very disappointed um, against the Broncos. They beat Canterbury last time there. I think, even without Morgan, I think they'll be a little strong. I think Tamalalo is ready just to, you know, cr- <laughs> trample someone. <laughs> and I, I would say they'll be too strong. What about you? Yeah, Manly. I think Manly a lock for me. Right, mate, we've got a new platform. You want to talk about what, what's happening with us? Well, not a new platform, but we're revised and revisited and we've uh, fixed it all up and it's looking great. What's happening? Yeah, look, look, our website's up and running and, uh, and we're really, really excited about, you know, having a, a different sort of content as well as all the social media that, that's coming out at the moment. Uh, we've got a, a number of uh, X and uh, a few down the track current NRL st- um, um, stars joining us um, with the articles and, and helping us out. So I think it's, you know, it's great content and uh, check it out. Uh, it's uh, twogoodsports.net and uh, we'll provide the best we can as far as all of our, our um, content, draw, um, team lists, so forth. And of course, um, you know, when there's a little bit more cricket as well, we'll be uh, ensuring that we um, have a cricket content that's um, up there and, and relevant and um, up to date as well, Greg. Yeah, mate. Sounds good. That's great. Um, looks like getting a little sweat up there. You might need a Bentley towel too. Yeah, look, another one. <laughs> if, you, if you're getting a sweat up in the Gold Coast at the moment, it's about 11 degrees. I've got a massive like heart attack around the corner. Uh, look, we, we do have a uh, really excited to, to uh, invite, um, to, to have uh, Bentley, Bentley towels come into the two good schools, um, family, I guess. And uh, so you'll see a lot more about that during the, uh, the coming, um, coming weeks and months. But do check check them out as well. They they're um they're the group that are behind the McGrath Foundation. They they're a um, fantastic company to work with, and they're going to be providing. They're going to be the base for a lot of our uh, packs that we're going to be providing our, our followers, our supporters with over the coming uh, weeks and months. Uh, a big part of that, we'll have a promotion soon. Is uh, get on to and we'll let you know soon. Uh, get on and check out our website. Please subscribe. Uh, and the, I think it's going to be something like the first 50 subscribers will receive a, uh, a free uh, Two Good Sports pack. And that'll include some of the Bentley products and, and other things along the way. So do check it out, folks, if you haven't already. Uh, we've already had a lot of people come on there and uh, give us some great feedback. But that's just um, onwards and upwards for the coming, um, for the coming um, periods. But it looks good, Greg. Yep. Bring on the football. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, look, good luck to all the uh, to everyone out there with their team. I look regardless of uh, whether we have a, you know, my team has a winner, your team has a winner or whatever. I think we're just all excited that we can go to work and talk about footy uh, and also with our, you know, what we can do as far as two good sports. We're not just doing hypotheticals anymore. We can get to the game and the, and the most important things, you know, rather than 
you know, just uh, chatting about what could be, I guess. Yep. Kick to the corner. Yeah, absolutely. But in, in, the, in the meantime, folks, we'll, uh, no doubt we'll see you soon. And thanks for joining us Two Good Sports. See you soon, Greggy. See you, mate.